The West and the EU's madness of making the countries a green haven never lets them sleep carefree. They keep on making and scrapping policies in the wake of green activism. In a similar fashion, recently the EU is pushing on its food sustainability standards. Well, this is no news, but the US opposing it certainly is. The EU's ambition to hold third countries' food imports to its own sustainability standards has come as a marmalade dropper for the US. But why is a step in the direction of the West Green Agenda meeting with consternation by the US? Let's dive into the video to know why. Hello and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Vedika, let's begin. The EU's desire to subject third country food imports to its own sustainability standards has sparked concern among the stakeholders in key trading partners such as Brazil and especially the United States. As set out in the EU's flagship food policy, the farm to fork strategy, EU trade policy, should contribute to enhance cooperation with and to obtain ambitious commitments from third countries in key areas. This includes critical issues such as animal welfare, the use of pesticides, and the fight against antimicrobial resistance in efforts to promote the production of agri-food products confirming with high safety and sustainability standards. After staying seven days in YT jail, we are back. We don't know if they'll allow us to stay peacefully. We don't know when the next ban will be announced. And that's why you must download the TFI app. Apple users can simply go to the App Store, search for TFI Global and install the app. And since Google Play has banned us, Android users can download the app from the link in the description. We are in for a long haul and only your support can help us fight this war. And there has recently been a flurry of legislation aimed at making this a reality, including a new deforestation law, discussions about stopping the export of banned pesticides from the EU, and efforts to apply animal welfare regulations to imported products. Although the move has been welcomed by EU farmers and green activists, the EU's push on sustainability has sparked concern in third countries, including Brazil and the US. The European Commission is asking more and more from other countries outside of Europe to do certain things of which, if you go there, you see that that's a stupid question. Jürgen Tech, scientific director at the European Land Owners Organization, said during a recent event in Brussels, focused on driving forward sustainable food production across Brazil and Europe. This is because either it's impossible to do so or there is no need to do so, Tack explained. Similarly, Vincius Guimaraes of the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation emphasized the rarity of tropical growing conditions. Conditions are different and so the use of different products and inputs is necessary because of that, he explained. Likewise, tensions in the US arising over the EU's goal for a greener future. If you feel that is right for Europe, go ahead, but don't impose it on the rest of the world, where we are focused on finding and growing the proteins to feed the world. Ted McKinney, chief executive of the U.S. Association of State Departments of Agriculture, told an event on transatlantic relations on 5th of December. For McKinney, the EU and the U.S. are certainly on opposite ends of this whole thing. This is going to boil to a head and it's not going to be pretty, he won't. But why is anything complying with the green agenda perturbing the nerves of the U.S.? Perhaps opposing the move means business to the U.S. You see, Nitrogen fertilizer shipments from the United States reached a multi-year high this summer, as rising natural gas prices in Europe increased the cost of generating the crop nutrient there. Since Russia invaded Ukraine, the EU started weaning itself off Russian natural gas and a pipeline transporting ammonia from Russia, which led to a surge in imports from the US, the world's third largest producer. According to U.S. Census Bureau data, exports from the U.S. soared to 370,000 short tons of nutrients in August, which is more than double the year earlier total. European buyers started outbidding domestic buyers in the U.S., but the recent statements by the EU are no music to Washington's ears. The U.S. is having high fever 
Upon hearing about the EU's sustainability standards, as it used to divert a large share of supplies to Europe, Europe has rung the death knell of Washington's business ambitions, which just started to boom.